Hello and welcome to How to Play Mousetrap, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the board game Mousetrap. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with two to four players. To play you will need the Mousetrap board game. Lay out the mouse trap board. Place the mouse trap parts next to the board. Place the cheese triangles in a pile next to the board. Players will select a game piece to use and place them on the start space of the board. The object of the game is to be the last mouse left uncaptured. When a mouse is captured, that player is out of the game. Each turn consists of a player rolling the die, moving their game piece the amount rolled, and following the instructions for the space landed on. There are five types of spaces on the main track. The build spaces have numbers in them. If the space has a number equal to the amount of players in the game, one part of the mouse trap is built, and the player will collect one piece of cheese from the pile of cheese. The go back or move ahead spaces will instruct the player on the spaces and direction to move. The take cheese spaces will indicate how many pieces of cheese to take. The lose cheese spaces will indicate how many pieces of cheese to return to the cheese pile. No action is taken when landing on the dog bone space. The mouse trap must be built in the correct order. As players move around the board, the mouse trap will be built piece by piece. The loop spaces on the board refer to the six spaces at the end of the board track, starting with the safe space and moving around to the cheese wheel space. A piece on the safe space cannot be moved by another player. The two build spaces allow a player to build two mousetrap parts and collect two pieces of cheese from the pile. When a player lands on the turn crank space and there is a mouse on the cheese wheel space, the player will get to set the trap in motion. A player will get two cheese pieces from the pile when they land on the cheese wheel space. The player with the last uncaptured piece on the board wins the game. A player can use a piece of cheese to move an opposing player's game piece. If a player ends their turn on the turn crank space, the player can return one piece of cheese to the cheese pile and select an opposing piece to move. The player will then roll the die and move the opposing player's piece the amount rolled. A player can do this as many times and to as many opponent's pieces as wanted as long as they have cheese pieces to return to the cheese pile. Remember, a player on the safe space cannot be moved. If the trap works correctly, all player's pieces that are trapped are out of the game and their cheese pieces go to the player that set the trap in motion. If the trap fails for whatever reason, the opposing mice on the cheese wheel immediately move to the safe space. If a player lands on a build space and the number doesn't match the number of players in the game, no action is taken and the turn is over. If a player lands on a build space but the mouse trap is complete, no action is taken and the turn is over. When taking cheese, if the cheese pile does not have enough cheese, the player will take cheese from another player. For the space, take three pieces of cheese from rival with the most. If the player with the most cheese has less than three, take as many as the rival has. If two or more players are tied with the most cheese pieces, the player will choose which rival to take from. That wraps up How to Play Mousetrap. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and find more game tutorials by subscribing to the channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.